different brands. Now for today we're going to be looking at watercolor oil pastels, water soluble oil pastels. Creatacolor's Aqua Stick is a very good brand of them and I've started with the small set which is usually about 10 bucks maybe 12, 15, depends on where you get it. So the artist grade ones aren't always as pricey as you put it out of your reach. Let's get started. Here's our supplies for today's project. We've got Create a Color Aqua Stick, set of 10. Angled brush, Princeton Value Pack brush. I paid like six bucks to get six good brushes with that. And I love these golden tack ones. This is a water jar, which I'll move off the paper, and this is 90 pounds student watercolor paper from the Canson Biggie pad, which has 50 sheets. You pay about 10 bucks for it. You can use this paper for a lot of things. We'll move the pastels out of range so that we can see all the paper and get started. Let's try for something like a loose underpainting of a landscape. Okay, we got the dark blue here. Let's give it some distant mountains, make them look a little bit like Mount Eagle in the distance. And we want to have a tree in the foreground. So I'm going to just sketch that in green. Okay. we got the big tree in the foreground, big shaggy tree. And we want to make sure it comes down far enough. Give some more distant mountains, smaller ones in the further distance. And ooh, a little bit of brown here. Let's sketch something in. I'm going pretty lightly. You can't really see much of what I'm doing here. Let's get the trunk of the tree in. And give it some roots coming down. The root system on any tree is going to come out and look as wide as the crown. Sometimes the roots are shallow enough that you can see them like that. So let's put another tree here. We've got this gap here where the mountains are, so we'll put a tree that's a little further away, give that an odd shape, and maybe a smaller one near it. Alrighty, we've got some trees going. Let's give some bushes in the foreground and we'll scribble in a blue sky go real heavy up at the top and go lighter as we come down by the mountains and maybe we can give this a little bit of a water feature here let's have a lake coming over here we got the oak by the lake that gives us a good composition now the water is also going to be blue reflecting the sky so we'll put some sky holes there yeah I think we've got something like a composition going here let's get a little brown in for the underpainting on just the land all right we have some color we have some clouds going on we're not going to have the clouds completely covered the land but we want them to run around behind the tree. Oh, we need some more mountain coming in behind that. I had the sky run down behind the mountain. No good. Let's scribble the mountain in. Let's get that blued with distance mountain range going here. We're still keeping this just a flat color because this is going to be more like an underpainting. We'll develop it later. And we've got a couple of clouds in the sky. Let's break them up into being three. Oh, that's good. Right. Now, this is the fun part. I'm going to start messing with the water. Take one color area at a time to do the wash. I'm not trying to be careful. I'm just wishing away here give soft edges try and get the smooth areas of the sky fairly smooth but don't worry about it too much because it's just gonna look like other clouds notice how I'm going over the edge of the reserved white clouds so some of the color comes into them anyway and the sky is definitely lighter at the base 
than at the top. The color becomes a lot stronger when you're using water solubles. You add the water, the color just pops. You can see the sky now actually looks like a sky. You can also see that the paper's curling. While we got blue on the brush, let's get the lake surface washed in. I did scribble in. I'm being pretty careful not to touch other colors because that will mix them. But I'm also going to create some sky holes in the tree foliage. Now I might go over these later. But you can pick up color out of areas that are already colored and deposit it somewhere else you want it. The sky holes are important to make a tree look natural. In reality, trees do not have whole things. Now, I'm going to be washing these other colors, but let's take a break for a moment and let this dry. There's my good airy boy. There you go. What is sweet? Here's how the sky underpainting looks once it's dry. You can still see the colors nice and strong. In our next video, we'll start washing over some of the other areas after adding more color and continue to work over the underpainting, alternating wet and dry effects depending on what works until we've got a beautiful landscape. So, you can find more tutorials at http www.explore-oil-pastels-with-robert-sloan.com Everything's lowercase. It's easy to type in. I know that's a long site name, but it's a really good site. You can find many written tutorials there, as well as the history of oil pastels and everything else about them.